Kit Guru is with NVIDIA at CES 2024. Now we all know that the RTX 40 series of super graphics cards have launched. NVIDIA's got one or two of them on the show. Essentially every partner we can think of and one or two we don't see in the UK. Well certainly one. Over here we have Colourful. Colourful is not a name that we see in Europe. The rest of them however are fairly familiar and ironically gigabyte there are three gigabytes on show here and we only saw two gigabytes at the gigabyte booth also we have reference founders designs for the 4070 super and the 4080 super there is no 4070 ti super founders because there wasn't a 4070 ti founders does that make sense good other than that, what we're looking at here essentially is proof that NVIDIA dominates the world. All of it. What we have here is a whole series of laptops sporting NVIDIA 40 series graphics and in many instances, new processors. The Zeus ROG Zephyrus G14 here is actually a completely made over model that was launched 48 hours ago. Looks very interesting, but we have to say, in this light it's tricky to see any subtle differences, which is a tragedy because that looks like a nice laptop. Continuing around, the MSI Stealth 16 Studio. I'm gonna to have to check my notes because I do not recall seeing this notebook at the MSI booth, and that would be very strange. HP Omen Transcend 14. We saw this last night. It's a brand new model from HP. It's a thin and light, albeit around about 1.6 kilos. An impressive piece of hardware with Intel Meteor Lake, or as we now call it, Intel Core Ultra. And this laptop, Lenovo Legion 9i. I have to say, this looks impressive. This might be one we need to get in for review. Looks like a super high-end laptop from Lenovo. We're going to do the quickest of tours because what we have around the edge of the room is a series of NVIDIA technologies which make your gaming better. For example, DLSS 3.5. Dominic has covered many of these technologies frequently. Again, DLSS 3.5. And here we have a comparison between RTX 2070 Super and RTX 4070 Super. Would you like to guess which one wins? Basically, it's 90 FPS on the left, and 187 FPS on the right. It's a two to one ratio in two generations. The message being pummeled into us is that gaming on NVIDIA is a better experience. Here we have something we did not expect to see. It's a 240 Hertz OLED 4K panel from Alienware and naturally it sports G-Sync. We understand this display will sell for about $1,200 and that seems absolutely remarkable for a large bang up to date OLED panel. This is the sort of thing that could absolutely change gaming. I love it. This is the AI room. This demo we saw at Computex, essentially you can add characters into games and you can change the scripts and the dialogues with prompts. This bloke, however, is desperate to sell you ramen. I know that for an absolute fact. The thing is, of course, Nvidia is making fortunes out of AI hardware. They are clearly experts at it. So the fact they want to push the advantages of AI is no surprise. Something we did not expect to see is this Twitch streaming experience. Here we have a game streamer based at NVIDIA HQ in California and through the magic of Twitch and OBS we're streaming over five different resolutions. This right hand monitor is actually also streaming but we've cheated and we've covered it with this graphic and we can see up here a laptop and also mobile handheld devices. This is jolly clever and this is technology that we like the look of. Essentially, how good is your connection and the better your connection, the better the resolution at which you can see the game. You're not limited to a single Twitch stream with the latest technology. From NVIDIA, naturally. And we look down the line of more NVIDIA Studio demos. Every last one of them using the power of AI and RTX. You can choose from 1800 games on GeForce Now, NVIDIA's game streaming service. They've got a huge number of titles and you can play those games on a large array of handheld devices. And there's a router in the mix because NVIDIA wants games prioritized as part of quality of service. Now probably none of that comes as a massive surprise, but if we have a peek in the corner, and another area that I really love here is 
And that's a quick look at the mod on Half-Life 2, called Half-Life 2 RTX. We've known about it for a while, but it has not yet been finally released. We suspect it'll be released on the 20th birthday of Half-Life 2, and that would be absolutely fabulous. Now here's my question, as I've been slightly mocking about NVIDIA ruling the world. Can you imagine all those devs giving their time free to use AMD software to develop a game mod on AMD hardware? Truth be told, I can't. I'm not the least bit surprised it's been done with NVIDIA. Signing off from NVIDIA at CES, remember kitguru.net on the web and kitguru tech on YouTube.